Hi, I'm Joe Martinez aboard the USS Hornet Sea, Air and Space Museum with another one of the plain facts. This is an F-14. This is a model, uh, a model, an F-14A, uh, one of the last production model F-14s built around 1985. And it's a home resident uh, aircraft on the USS Hornet Museum. And this is a 60,000 pound class aircraft, fully loaded. Empty, it's 42,000 pounds. That's a lot of mass. And it did not operate off of car aircraft carriers like the Hornet. It's an Essex class aircraft carrier. It needs a super carrier. So we got this uh, from the squadron that it was at, flew it directly here as its last mission, and it's been here ever since. But we're gonna talk about it landing on a flight deck. What does it take to land on a flight deck? 42,000 to 60,000 pounds slamming on a flight deck, landing within a couple hundred feet, and being slowed down in two and a half seconds. It's a lot of mass. So we need to talk about the tail hook. So think about this. This is a 50 to 60,000 pound aircraft slamming onto the flight deck at 120 miles an hour, catching a tail hook around a cable, which is almost as big around as my wrist, which you think that's a big cable. Then you look at it next to the airplane, you go, that's a pretty small cable. And what's catching it? This tail hook. And this shoe on the end of this rubs on the deck and will eventually wear down. So it has to be replaced. So you pull this bolt out, stick another shoe on there, and continue on. So think about it. What's really stopping this aircraft? One bolt. I find that fascinating and amazing as well. And that's a plain fact. Joe Martinez on the USS Hornet, Sea Air and Space Museum. I will see you on the flight deck.